Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Excitec BIM 360 surgery. This morning it is number 34. And today I'm going to take a look at reviews and transmittals within the platform. So, as usual, I'm in my BIM 360 hub. I'm going to go to Project Home. And I've just noticed I'm going to sign out and sign in with my Excitec email. So I'm into the Excitec hub and here we are. So reviews and transmittals. So I'm going to go through the process of how we create um, <clears throat> a transmittal and how we create a review process. So I'm just going to jump in to the BIM 360 surgery project. And I'm going to click in to document management. So in here, we will have a review and transmittal area where we can submit documents for a review. So that will basically be a, an approval process where we take a document, send it to someone, and they can either approve or reject it. So you can see it under the document management. On the second tab, I have reviews. And if I click in there, you will see that I've got a series of reviews already done but i'm going to take you back in to Here is some options the series four. um project admin and we're going to create a new review process so you can see under <clears throat> services under project management we have a reviews tab so services click into reviews and we can create a new one. So I'm going to click Create Approval Workflow, and you can then choose a particular template. Now, 360 gives you six different types for a single step. So you can see here where I have a one-step approval, two-step, three-step, four, five, and six. And what this means, it will go to three, four, five, six different sets of people for approval. And we also then have group approvals. So what group approval means is you can set a series of people and then nominate a set number of people within that group to approve. So I will run through both. So if we go with a very simple one-step approval to start, so you select it, it gives a little diagram. If you change it to a two-step, you will see that we have an initial review, then final, the same with three, and you can go on until a six-step approval where you can see initial reviews so if we keep it very simple to start and we click next you can give this a name so i could say that it's an s1 approval type and you can type whatever you want for review for coordination for information whatever it may be so i could say just let's say documents for review and you can enter in description and then we get into the steps of how we build the workflow so first of all we have an initiator so this is the person that can initiate the actual review so this is where you can control who gets access to initiating that review so you can actually control people that won't see that as a review process and people that will so if i select my drop down you can see that i'm going to say that i can see the review and no one else. So when I'm in document management, if Carl is in there, he won't be able to see this review and initiate because he's not part of that initiator program. So you can see in the step name. So I've got final review. So I can actually edit that and give that a title. And then I can say who the approver is. So I'm going to say that all three people in this project can approve the document. And you can see that you can then specify the calendar days in which they have allowed to approve that document. So you can say, actually, I need you to prove it within one day, three days, five days, seven, and you can go on up until 99. So I'm just gonna keep it at three days. So what we've done is it's a single document for review initiated by myself, and these three people in the project can then approve that document. We then have the approval status, and you can see that as default, we have approved, rejected, and then you can build custom ones in so we can have approved and you can give it a label and then you can give it these three icons so i can go approved rejected approved but then with comments 
And I can also add another one in. So if I say that it's a rejected, and I can say rejected comments, and then I can choose that status. So you can see there, and you can also bin them off if you don't need them. So that's our approval. So I'm going to create four. Then we have upon completion. So if we approve a document, we can actually copy that document to a particular folder. So if we click here, we can then select a folder and it allows you to go into project files. And then I can say, okay, so it's going to my shared folder because everything's okay. You can also allow the initiator once they approve it to actually specify a different folder. In this instance, I'm going to keep that off. And then you can go, once it's copied, do we want all the documents or any document? So if any document in the review, it would process, or do we need all documents? So if we've got 10 documents and we approve one but reject nine, it will still copy them. So I'm going to say all documents in the review have been approved or any documents. So just depending on what you want to happen. And then you can add a custom note. So we've put the general information in, added in the steps, set the status, and then we're copying the documents to the shared folder. If we click Save, that will then create that approval process. You can see Documents for Review. So let's go in and create a group approval. So we're going to say a two-step group approval. Click Next. It's the same principle. Say that it's a group, just quickly copy and paste. And again, I'm going to say that I am the initiator. Click Save. And you can see the reviewer type changes to a multiple. You can switch it back to a single if you want. And I'm going to say that reviewers must be these two people. Click Save. And then you can change this. And this is the key setting. So we've got a group of three people. And we can say that every member must review it, or we can change it to a maximum number of two people within this group must approve the documents. Or we can say actually only one out of these groups will approve it. And we can say that the approvers are going to be, again, these three people. And they're allowed three days. Again, we've got the same approval status. I'm not going to add the custom one in. And again, I'm going to say that once we approve something, I'm going to push it in to this shared folder. And then we can click Save. So it's as simple as that. We've got documents for review, documents for approval, except this one is a group. So if we click into Docs now, we can choose a document and then push it on the review process. So I'm just going to pick whatever I have. So I've got work in progress. Let's go into the architecture file, 3D design. And I'm going to take this Revit model. So you can see I can pick multiple if I wish, but in this instance, actually let's do, let's do two documents for review. And over here we can then submit for review. So we click it. Because I'm the initiator, I can choose which workflow. You can see some items are grayed out because I've not got access because I'm not part of the initiator. But let's do the single one, which is document for review. You can see the review name comes up. You can see the documents that are included. We also have an option now when we are in the middle of a approval. We can then add for the documents if we wish. So I can say, actually, let's include this drawing. Click Add. So you can see we've got three total documents and we then just click submit so that will then take them documents you will see it now initiates the review number 10 is now open you can see that you know it's going to notify these reviewers automatically i can notify other people of that review and i can also send a message Please, can you review and then click send? So that will notify the people in the system. I will get an email notification for just speed. I can click into the reviews here. You will see that the review is open. It was created 
and you can see the next action is by myself. If I quickly launch BIM3 or my Outlook, you will see that if I click into my email notification, I should have gotten an email notification about that I've got a pending review. The same for Carl and the same for my Gmail address email also. So Outlook is a little bit slow this morning, but hopefully it goes pretty quick. Of all the days for Outlook to start really, really slowly. But I will just jump in, and I think my Gmail address should have gotten one. You can see that there is a BIM 360 surgery. So I've got a document for review. You can see what you get. You get the name, review name, total documents, and then you can simply click view review. And it will, if you're logged in, it will take you straight into that review process. Outlook it seems to be just having a little bit of a nightmare, but you can see this is the review. I'm signed in as myself, and you can then start the review. You can void it, or you can export. So if we start it, let's go and go start review. So the final review will be assigned to me. Other reviewers will not be able to do it, so let's click and start. So we can then view the documents as normal. You can click into them, and it will open up in each of the viewers but we don't need to do that you can have a description version whether there's markups and what you can do then is you can simply set the approval process so i can say approved approved and i can go approved with comments all okay just update title block and click add see that comment is now stored and then once everything's approved i can click submit review so final review will be submitted and then closed and then we click submit and off then documents go and you can see it is spooling so it's approving the documents and it's completing the action remember the action is moving them to this folder and you can see we can now hyperlink it and these documents are now moved and copied, sorry, copied to this folder. So if we click back into work in progress, we take this parts test, submit for review, select the drop down. We do a group review and we quickly, quickly hit submit. Go into these people again, click send. and off it goes. It will then appear in here. You can see that this is the group approval. If I check my Gmail again, you will see I have got a new review 11 where I can click view review, and then it's the same process. The only difference with this one is it is a group review. So there's three of us that will get the same email. All three of us can start the review, but only one of us needs to complete it. So I'm going to start review. See, there's the document. We can have a look. So that's all good. And then we just go submit review. So that is then submitted to the reviewer. And then they can then go to the final review. And then we can then start the final review. And then this is where in the final step I can approve or reject that particular item. And if it's rejected, I can click Submit. And then that then gets rejected back in the system and not moved or copied to that folder. You can see the approval status is rejected. And it's slowly just updating.
So if I jump back into docs, you will see that if we go to the folder section, that document will have its status updated once it is rejected. So you can see here parts test, and then over under the status, you will see that that has been rejected. And if we look in the shared folder, you will see the other documents that have been approved. You will see the icon shows them as approved. So it's pretty much as simple as that. Create the review workflows under the project admin, then use the workflows to submit the information. We also have a transmittal section, so you can see there are no transmittals. So if we go back to the folders, we can transmit a document. So I can say that this drawing, I can create a transmittal of that document. So I can say, FYI drawing, I can enter a recipient and say, okay, there is a drawing for you and you can then see that you can set the view permissions in here you can see that you can see all the recipients recipient can only see themselves so if you want to keep it like a blind carbon copy you can you can add in other documents so if i want another document i can add that in so i've got my initial drawing and i can click transmit so off that will go. I can then, if I want to do something else, I can submit that, create, send it to my Gmail, click create, and off that will go. And you will see in here that it will keep a record of who has got what. And if I check my email, you will see that I now have transmittal number two is shared, ready to view. And I can click view transmittal. And you can then go straight in to the transmittal. You can see that it's sent. You can download it. You can view the document. And it's really as simple as that. So if you want to send something to someone, just transmit it to them. You've then got a full record and a copy. And they can then do the usual BIM 360 stuff. They can have a look at it. They can view the versions. They can view the sets. They can mark it up. They can do whatever they want with that file so pretty simple just sort of thought i would just cover that out again for everyone that wasn't aware that we have the reviews and transmittals within 360 so that's pretty much me for today thank you very much uh, i will be back next week with 35 um so everyone have a good day um stay safe out there and i'll catch you again soon